In this Painter Essential 7 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get your sketching on a clone source just by using the tracing paper option. So I noticed when you open the program for the first time, by default, it has a single document view. What that means is you can only open one file at a time. You want to shut that off. So what you want to do is head over to Preference, under General, Select Interface, click Default. Now with that out of the way, we can get started. To start, let's open up a picture. To turn this photo into a sketch, what we need to do is knock out that background. The photo that you're looking at, I actually took it with my smartphone. So just below the Crop tool is the Selection tool. Click and hold the Selection tool and select the Magic Wand tool. This tool will allow you to select any color and delete it. But you need to be aware that sometimes it will select parts you do not want it to. But don't worry, you can deselect and use the eraser tool to finish off the job. As you can see, I'm using the eraser tool and erasing as much as the background as possible. Now with the background gone, you want to save it as a JPEG. Click File, Save As, give it a name, then click OK. Now on to the Auto Paint section. So on the right hand side, under Browse, find the JPEG you just saved. Mine is called Painter Essential. Click Open. Now you're probably seeing a blank page. Don't be afraid. All you need to do is click Show Trace Paper located on the right hand side. When you do, you'll see your JPEG. Now we move to the Auto Paint section. In that section, there is a drop down menu. In that menu, there is a lot of options to choose from. I am only going to choose two, charcoal drawing, pencil drawing. Now that we have chosen, we hit play. As you can see in this time lapse, Painter Essential is literally drawing for you. But you can pick and choose how much you want Painter Essential to assist you. Before I start sketching on my tracing paper, I want to make sure I have my JPEG open as my drawing reference. Now that my drawing reference is open, it's time to sketch. Now click on the show trace paper. Now with the tracing paper on, we begin to put our creativity to work. What I'm trying to achieve in this drawing is a loose 15-20 minute sketch. So I'm keeping my lines loose using some cross hatching techniques and really trying to add more depth to the photo by adding more structural anatomy to this drawing. Also remember, anything you draw will now be transferred on top of the auto painting clone. You can also continue to use auto paint on top of your trace sketching to build up layers upon layers. Now that the drawing is coming to an end, I hope you are able to express your creativity through Painter Essential 7. So thank you for watching.